Right, let's have a go at this one then, guys. It has 16x squared minus 8x minus 7. Everything's all right in the right, uh, location. So let's just divide by 16 then all the way through. Uh, so we get x squared. Uh, divide by 16 all the way through both sides of the equation. So this simplifies to the next squared. This is a half agreed. 8 sixteenths is minus 1 half x minus 7 sixteenths equals 0. There we go. Now we can complete the square, so we get x minus um, half of a half is a quarter. So yeah, everyone happy with that? Yeah, x squared minus the half x will come out from the middle lines. The last one will be plus 16, so I need a minus 1 16 to take care of that, to keep it the same as the two things above, and then I've got a minus 7 16 here. Okay, so they, these two things add up to minus 8 16, which is minus a half. And I can move that minus a half in the next line to plus a half here. So that's what I'll do. I'll do uh, two things, those two things. So this squared, I remember we said minus a half, I'm going to move it across to plus a half. Now, uh, square root both sides. So to enter a square, you square root. So we can just write the object itself. And then we've got square root. So we'll put the plus and the minus here of a half, yeah? Okay, so that's good. So now uh, we've square root to both sides. Now all we need to do is move this minus a quarter over to be with the thing on the right hand side. So x equals one quarter plus the square root of a half. Uh, or the other one was x equals uh, one quarter. Uh, oops, sorry about that. Let's just get it right. x will equal one quarter and then it will be minus. Uh, the square root of one half, yeah? So let's just tap them in the calculator then, see what we get, shall we? Okay, so we got a quarter. Let's do our fraction thing. One, tab down to below. Uh, one quarter, ta toggle or tab back up to ground level, plus. And then we got a square root. Now we got to be careful, so I'm going to use a bracket because I like to be careful with these fraction things. The top one is a half, one over two. So one on the top. Toggle down to get to 2, toggle back up to ground level, close the bracket around the whole thing, toggle outside the square root, okay, there I am. 1 quarter plus square root of a half, yeah, we're all happy with that, so that equals then as a decimal, 0 0.96 to 2dp, because the 5 rounds up, because we've got a 7 here, rounds up to 5 to a 6, 0 0.96 then, so let's put that down. And the next one, we can just get the calculator, it comes virtually for free. Let's just toggle back then, back to our plus, right here, and we need to put in a minus, don't we? So let's delete that entry, and we'll put a minus in. Quarter minus a square root of half, and we get that, which is minus 0 0.4, and the 5 rounds up to a 6, doesn't it? Minus 0 0.46. Okay. There's our answers then. Let's just tap in the calculator. Just double check one of them at least. So we've got 16 of x squared. So let's just write that down. 16 times bracket uh, 0.96 bracket squared. Minus 8 lots of x. Minus 8 times the x, which is 0 0.96. And then we've got minus 7, haven't we? Minus 7. So let's just check we've Entered that correctly, just look along the row. 16 times 0 0.96 squared, yeah. Minus 8 times 0 0.96. Fairly happy with that, minus 7. So I'm fairly optimistic that we'll get a very small term here, which we do. A mm, little bit big. Uh, slight concern there, but still, I think I'm going to stick with it. And hopefully that will be okay. All right then, so I think that's about it. That's the, 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 the solution for that one. Okay, good. That's 17 done. Let's go on to the next one.